In this lesson, we're going to be solving equations with more than one variable. But what does this look like? Equations that have more than one variable can have several solutions. Let's take, for example, this first one. A plus B is equal to C. Say I told you that C is equal to 10. All right, well, if A plus B is equal to 10, then A could be 9 and B could be 1. A could be 7 and B could be 3. A could be 6 and B could be 4, and so on. What we are going to be expected to do is to take equations such as these with more than one variable and solve for a particular variable. For example, a plus b is equal to c. Say I were to ask you to solve this equation for b. What does b equal? Well, we know that we want to isolate the variable. We want b to be by itself. So we use our backtracking or our inverse operations. Since this is a positive a, I would put in a negative a. What I do to one side, I do to the other to maintain equality. Now I'm left with b on the left hand side and that's going to equal c minus a. So what this allows me to do is anytime I know c and I know A, I can calculate B. Pause the movie, copy this example with these steps into your notes, and then try to solve this one on your own. Make sure you are solving for B. When you finished solving A plus 2B equals C, for the letter B, press play and let's see how you did. Okay, so you should have had A plus 2B is equal to C. I'm solving for B. Just like the first problem, we are going to get rid of or use inverse operations for A, which would leave me with 2B is equal to C minus A. Now I have this 2 in front of the B. The inverse operation of multiplying by 2 is to divide. So my 2's will cancel and my final result will be B is equal to C minus A divided by 2. Check your work. If you got this answer, good job. If not, fix your notes so that you have this as an example. Here's another sample problem. Television screens come in different sizes, but have the same proportions. If you divide the width of a screen by its height, you get 16 over 9. Number 1. Write an equation showing this proportion. Well, in this case, we know that if we divide the width of a screen by its height, we can write that as W, oops, we can write that as W over H, width divided by height. And we know that the width divided by the height is equal to 16 over 9. So here's the answer to number 1, where we write an equation showing this proportion. Width over height equals 16 over 9. Number 2 asks us to solve for W. To solve for W, we are going to use cross products and then solve. Pause the movie and try this on your own. When re you're ready to check your solution, press play. Hopefully you saw that 9 times W should have given you 9W, and then H times 16 is 
16 H. So what we would do next to so solve for W is isolate the variable. Since 9 is multiplying W, the inverse is 2 divide. These cancel, and we are left with W is equal to 16 times H divided by 9. Pause the movie. Make sure that this is what you have in your notes. Press play when you're ready to continue. So now for part 3, it's a lot easier to solve this. It says to find W when H is 13, 36, and 30. Now all we need to do is substitute each of those H's with 13, then find your answer, 36, then find your answer, and then 30. Bring these solutions to class. Once you have these answers, press play to move on to the next problem. Now sometimes our equations will look like these. Negative 3x plus 3y equals 5. You might remember these from previous years. What I would like for you to do when you see these problems is we will typically be solving for y. Again, it's just a matter of isolating the variable. Pause the movie. Try to solve for y on your own. Press play to check your work. Let's see how you did. We know that we want to get 3y, or actually y, by itself. The first step is to eliminate this term. So to eliminate this 3x, I am going to add 3x to both sides. So these will cancel, getting me closer to getting y by itself. So 3y is 3x plus 5. Now I do want y by itself, and 3 is multiplying it. To eliminate the 3 times y, I am going to divide everything through by 3. 3 divided by 3, yes, I now have y all by itself. 3 divided by 3 is 1, so I just have x plus 5 thirds. Make sure that you have this example, these steps, and this answer in your notes. When you're sure your notes are correct, press play to move on. Now try this one on your own. Bring your solution to class and we will work on it together. Bye!